Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming to our 12th annual Lights of Love candle lighting and remembrance service. First, a special thank you to Father Joe for allowing us to have our service here. Father, thank you. Another special thank you to the Lights of Love Committee and to Katie and Sarah Freiberger. Girls, thank you. Um, this year I want to make a special thank you to the Empower Federal Credit Union for their past and present support for the past three years as a presenting sponsor to us. Thank you so much. I don't know. Oh, there you are. <laughs> thank you. Um, one quick announcement before we begin. This is Susie Cooper's last year to co-chair this event. As you might not know, Susie retired from the Medical Center in August. Susie, it's been an honor to have worked with you for all these years. You were not only a great co-worker, but you've been, been and always will be a great friend to me and everyone else's life you have touched, and you have touched so many lives. Thank you, Thank you for everyone for coming um, and all you have done in the past for us for your generous support, and we hope you enjoy the service. Thank you again. Let us pray. Tonight we are praying for families and friends. We ask God to bless each of them and give them the strength of his grace and help them in all that they do. May God be with all of them each day with the help and strength of his wonderful graces and strength of soul. Amen. Take your moment. Take your moment to mourn, but don't spend too much time. My life was a wonderful celebration. I am still with you and love you. But now you must seek me in different ways. Learn to see my face in the beauty of the world and hear my laughter in a giggle of a small child. Feel my touch in the warmth of the sun and my voice in the gentle stirring of the wind. And most of all, know I am present to you always in the quiet strength of our love for each other. If you feel burdened with the problems of the day or fear the uncertainty of the future, seek me in the wisdom and counsel of family and friends. If you feel the pain of loneliness or the hurt of separation, reach out to someone else in need of love, for that is how you will quiet your sorrow. And if you seek peace for yourself, listen quietly to the sounds of my voice present in your own heart, for that is where I am always. Were not our lives together more joy than sorrow, more laughter than tears, more forgiveness than separation? So too, let this experience of life be turned from grief and sadness to one of knowing and seeking the loving God within us all. When you choose to remember our time together, remember the days of celebration and laughter. In this way, the gift of my life and the power of its love will continue to echo in the lives of all you touch. The first candle will be lit by Dennis Foresti and Donna Jones. We light a candle in memory of those who have handed us the gift of life itself. We honor those who gave us birth and nurtured us, those who endowed us with heritage and raised us, and those who offered us love and cherished us. We remember our mothers and fathers, grandparents and great-grandparents, and all of our ancestors throughout the ages. We remember also those who were as mother or father to us, loving us by choice rather than chance. In memory of Martin Abelove, Sarah J. Abraham, Anthony Timothy and Stephen Aceto, Captain Joseph T. Aiello, Salvatore Alberico, Dolores Albright, Mr. and Mrs. J. Altanji, Yolanda Aman, Deborah J. Anderson, Suzanne Andrews, Ralph A. Antone, my husband, Mary Mamie Arcuri, Peter James Arcuri Sr., Sally Ann Arcuri, William H. Backus, Mary Badger, 
Reverend William Baker, Mildred Baludas, Alfred J. Bannock, Marion Barron, Stephanie Barney, Carmen Basilio, Annie Benincasa, Anthony and Mary Lou Biamonti, William Bittaker, Felicia and Fred Block, Richard Bollert, husband, Edmund Berger, Ellen Berger, George Boys, Edgar Bonville, Shirley Baruso, Boucher family members, Edward Bradley, Dr. Robert Brennan, Louis and Eleanor Brindisi, Chris Brockway, Brian Brosimer, Warren Brown, Arthur Brule, Margaret Brule, Jack Burnett, Bill Burton, Joy Ehrenberg Bush, RN, St. Elizabeth class of 1955, Edward and Julia Burns, Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Cocosa Sr., Thomas J. Cahill Jr., Barbara Ann Ciola, Peter E. Ciola, Terry Lee Colenzo, Peter Camardo, Rudy and B. Camerona, Antonio Caparello, Constantino Capuzella, Leonard and Virginia Capuana, Beverly Cardillo, Florence Cardillo, Irene Cardillo, Joseph Cardillo, Judith Cardillo, Pat Cardillo, Rufino Cardillo, Edna Cardinal. The next candle will be lit by Sister Della Rosa Lenk and her nephew, Bob McQueen. We light a candle in memory of those who have been linked with us in the ongoing chain of family life. We honor those who have shared our heredity and those who have experienced our common bonds. We remember sisters and brothers, aunts and uncles, relatives near and distant throughout time. In memory of Frank Cardinal, Mary Carlissimo, William L. Carroll, Carmen Caruso, Albert and Margaret Casab, Ardina and Thomas Casale, Dana Lynn Castronovo, Patricia Siegler, Peter Chirello, George P. Chickering, Gert and Fred Shazam, Mr. and Mrs. Jack Clifford, Rachel Lilia Nahalona Nalalani Clute, Margarita Cognacia, Jane A. Coleman, Francis Kalia, Rose Collette, Angelo and Isabella Colosimo, Francis A. Cumbar, Laura and Peter Congelero, Marion Coniglio, Chris Connors, Mary Constantine, Vincent J. Constantine, Vincent R. Constantine, Stephen Conway, Dr. Burton S. Cooper, Joseph and Jane Cooper, Jeremy Decker, Rose DeKine, Patsy DeLuca, Dr. John DiMartino, Claude A. Dimitri, Emily Enrico Dimitri, Nathan Dimitri, John Devaney, Kelly and Antoinette DeVito, Vincent DeBrango, Victor C. DeMock, Francis Dixon, Frederick Dodge, Glenn Donahoe, Christopher Donnelly, Peter R. Donnelly, Anthony and Joseph Dantino, Rocco A. Doty, Herb Dowd, Connie and Mike Dahaniak, 
Sophie Duda. This candle is lit by Dave and Sherry Roberts. We light a candle in memory of those to whom we ourselves have passed on the precious gift of life. We hold dear to our hearts those we have held dear in our arms and in our dreams. And to grandchildren and great-grandchildren, we remember those who live within the womb and those who danced upon the earth. In memory of Michael Frank Duniak, Alan Durfey, Jane Zeigel, Sister Anthony Marie Edo, Alice Kelly Ellinger, David and Francis Eckenberry, Donna Latour Elephant, Prudence Ellinger, Arthur and Nellie Ellis, Charles and Antoinette Ellsworth, David Emerson, Vinnie Esposito, Rose Mary Abolo, Carmel Izzo, Mr. and Mrs. Rocco Finelli, James Farrell, Addison Fazzolo, Reverend Felician Falner, May Donahue Fair, Cleet and Lois Fetton, Frederick J. and Mary R. Fiola, Jim Fletcher, Mary and Harry Fleehan, Norma Fleehan, Francis and Eva May Flood, Francis and Lucy Foresti, Joseph Foresti, Kevin Forsythe, Mary E. Fercola, Mary Elizabeth Fercola, Mary M. Fercola, Arthur Friedman, Carol Friedman, Bernie Freitag, David Friat, Harold Friat, Ronald J. Ferner, Frida Funschilling, William Funschilling, Robert O. Funicello, Michael C. Fusco, Connie Gaetano, Ann C. Gale, Frank Gemelli, Antona Antonio Garza Jr., Wendy Geller, Edward George, Rosemary Gerace, Francis Iacovelli, Dottie and Bob Gil Gilcrest, Robert and Joseph Gillette Sr., Diane Gemelli, Sister Rose Vincent Gleason, Harold Goddard, Ronald and Mary Goddard, Joyce Eileen Gagan, Agnes Gasson, Dorothy Gov, Abraham Gozi, Myra and Sadie Gozi, Elizabeth Graff, Mary Jane Granada, Gloria Granado, Philip N. Grazade, Jr. This candle will be lit by Grace Bouse. We light a candle in memory of those whom we've discovered through the eyes of love on our journey through life. We hold sacred the remembrances of those who have brightened our days with affection and who have lit up our lives with devotion. We remember wives and husbands, dearest lovers and closest friends, those who opened us to ourselves and to life even after we opened ourselves to them and now to eternity. In memory of Edward Green, MD, Frank and Carrie Green, Todd Griffin, Catherine Grimmer, Mary E. Grove, Frank S. Gresnestack, Bobby Gusha, David and Marie Guido, 
Matilda Guido, Raymond Guido, John Gulliver, Elizabeth A. Gunny, Lisa Haig, Mildred Harris, Roy Harris, Trevor Hart, Mr. and Mrs. Fred Heinz, Jr., Pam Hersick, Robert Higgins, Joseph Hines, Dr. Charles B. Hobica, Elias C. Hobica, Anna Marie Hobica, Dr. John H. Hobica, Matthew J. Hobica, Warren Holmes, Thomas Arnold, Carol Hopper, Arlene Huckabone, Peggy Hughes, John Humphrey, Kristen Hutchins, Thomas and Francis Hines, Anthony Ionone Sr., Ted and Mary Jabor, Joseph S. Janjewiski, Helen Janinski, the Johnson family members, Rose Jones, Clifford Jarkowski, Nellie Jarkowski, Theodore J. Cantor, M.D., Albert Karaz, Justin F. Kelly, Sarah Kelly, Janet Canelli, Roger Kent, Mackie Kernan, Dr. David Kirk, Albert Kitless, Lucian Kitless, Daniel Klutz, Mike Knapp, David Ney, Mary Jane Knight, Alexandra Kogut, Carol A. Kopik, George and Shermoni Corey, William Kovacs, Ka Kabirski, Nachi Labella, Helen and Joseph Labella, Tony and Mike Labella. This candle is lit by Susan Cooper. We light a candle in memory of those who have walked beside us in so many ways. We remember those who have worked with us and played with us, those who have made our time on earth more enjoyable and our experiences in this world more memorable. We remember friends and associates, those who neighbored us and lifted us, expanded our horizons. In memory of Sister M. Prudentia Ladisky, OSF, Angeline Lafache, Camille Lafleur, Anthony Leno, Robert Lamb, Susan Lamb, Elizabeth Lamore, Andrew Lazarek, Jean Labana, Edward and Anna Lenk. Reverend Edward A. Lank, Barb Leonard, Lawrence and Gladys Lewicki, Joseph Leah, Samuel Labritz, Donald W. Light, Julie Aliasso Lindig, Rose and John Lafaro, Mrs. Jane D. Luby, Robert and Donna Lutz, Patricia Madden, Patricia Mahar, Dr. Dennis Mahoney, Emily Rose Micah, Francine Micah, Frank Mimone, Robert Manka, Lois Manley, Nicholas Marchitelli, Marie Marcuson, Angelo R. Marifada, Annette Marifada, Dolores Dardano Martellato, John and Marguerite Martin, Terence Martin, Forrest B. Mather, Ann Kachansky Madsen, David May, Mazzola family members, Carol McCarthy, Jerry McCarthy, Bernadette McDonough, 
Peter Gabriel McDonough, my sweet dad. Robert and Jane McEwen. Mark McGilvery, my dear husband. Catherine T. McLaughlin. Marie McQueen. Bernard H. Meenan, Sr. Ida and Tom Mel. Jean Mercurio. Robert Mercurio. Genevieve Malnicki. Joe Malazzo. Aurelia Ann Miller. Dr. John F. Millett. Ryan Misener. Buck Miziak. Millie Miziak. Richard Miziak. Colleen Montalbano. Anthony Montalbano. Major and Mrs. Guy J. Morell. Max Brian Morris. William and Elizabeth Morris and family. The next candle will be lit by Father Joseph Salerno. We light a candle in honor of those who choose to be caregivers, those who have offered us a shoulder to lean on, a moment to listen, and a calling to love and care for those who are traveling the road of illness. We remember those who have cared for our loved ones and ourselves, and we ask that they continue to be blessed as they go about their daily routines. We ask that strength and determination guide them in their practice. In memory of Sister M. Melanie Coria, OSF, Charles Coyne, Jr., Daniel Criaco, Sr., Dolores Cuda, Opal Irene Courier, Steve and Louise Zyka, Ben and Bertha DeCunto, Joan D'Alessandro, John Daly, K.R. Dang, Barbara Daniel, Sister Prisca Dardano, Barbara Dawes, Crystal DiBono, Vito De Carlos. Mother and Father, Thelma Mutolo, Mr. and Mrs. Charles J. Napier, David E. Nesped, Dennis M. Nesped, Florence Nicastro, Father Paul Noteski, S.J., Francine Nodi, Sean Obenesser, Dan and Mary Alvadoti, Victor C. Alvadoti, Barbara Olson, Leo J. Oster, Marie J. Page, Mary Palladino, John T. and Mary F. Pandolfi, Dolores Panisha, Sister Elizabeth Mary Pacello, Victoria Pizzola, Michael Paul Pellegrino, Mary Spellman Pentergast, Peter and Carmela Petinato, Philomena Pacola, Vincent and Adeline Pacola, Nellie Peichel, Ruby Gaylene Piper, Dominic and Laura Piperata, Morris Plasky, my husband. Christine L. Planish, Palicelli, Noel, and Melchior families. Leo Pollock, Jr., Leo Pollock, Sr., Chester J. Potempa, Mildred Pazerba, Constantine Puglio, Charles Putney, Joseph and Malvina Rabia, Edward Pete Rusher, Tony Renzi, Cheryl Ra V. Reddick, Mary Beth Rizzo, Janine Roberts, Mary W. Roberts, 
Stanley, Ann, and Helen Rogowski and family. Chief Benny D. Rotundo. Rosemary Roy. Charles H. Rogowski. Connie Ryan. Mary Susan Salemi. Richard Salvo, our son. Stella Sankowski. Saperito family. Joseph Butch Sardina. Dr. Angela and Mary Scarferati. Frank L. Schmeldel. David L. Schmidt. Marion and Aline Schnoff. Frank Shortino. Martha Scott. Frank Seminaro. Floyd A. and Doris E. Sent. Joanne Scaglione. James Shea, Nancy Sherman, R. Judd Sherman. The next candle will be lit by Al Walker and Mike Gregory. We light a candle in memory of all those who have lost their lives while serving our country. Remember our brave troops who continue their dedication and service in our military. In memory of Raymond P. Sinnott, Mary and Tom Skelly, Elizabeth Skopek, Antoinette Smith, Elizabeth Betty Smith, Richard Smith, William J. Smith, Judith Sneezek, Fanny Spatuzzi, Mildred and Lester Spear, Thomas Spellman, Joey, Pamela Mary, and George Spinelli, Jr., Joan Spatansky, Hilda Staley, Raymond Staley, Mary Stefanini, Betty Stevenson, John Stevenson, Alicia Sablinska Rogowski, Pauline Tallarico, Denise Torresano, Michael Taylor, Florence Testa, Robbie Tediment, my beloved grandson, Robert Tediment, Evelyn Grimaldi Trapini, Jack and Jean Traxel, Kylie Turzen, James B. Turnbull III, Robert Utter, Eleanor Vale, Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Vale, Margot Vanderpool, Felix A. Venero, Rachel R. Venero, Angela Vallello, William and Marjorie Waldron, Matthew Waters, Helen L. Welp, Mr. and Mrs. John White, Frida Wilbert, Gail Cardillo Wilcox, Bonnie Wilson, Georgette Wilson, Beatrice Winterbottom, Dr. Mark Wandro, Angela and Frank Yako, Joseph Sylvester Yanchen Jr., Michelle Yost, Nancy Zinicola, Darren Papa Zeckler. This next candle is lit by Christine, Randy, and Brody Savicki. We light a candle of hope for those who are suffering through an illness or injury. We support them with our prayers and our love. Dr. Prabhat Aluwala, Dr. Dominic Aiello, Wendy Barnum, Grace DeFazio Baus, Birth of Finn Caruso Brown, Dr. Amita Utala, Dr. Atul Utala, Mr. and Mrs. Matt Canuli and family, Dr. Fayez Chafee, 
Marilyn Chirillo, Sue Cooper, Dr. Thomas Coyle, Melissa Curtis, Dr. Sudarshan Dang, Dr. Samir Desai, Dr. Alicia Detralia, the Donahue family, Dr. Nabil El Amir, Phyllis Ellis, the employees, medical staff, and volunteers at St. Elizabeth's Medical Center, Dr. Tofix Farku, Constance Ferguson, Annie Flagg and staff, Foundation staff, Dr. Bisham Garg, Joanne Goddard, Liz Goddard, Guest Apartment, Catherine Hanover, Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Hobaika and family, Joseph and Madeline Hobaika, Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Hobaika Jr. and family, Mr. and Mrs. Luke Hobaika and family, Madeline Hobaika, Brianna Johnson, student at St. Elizabeth Medical Center College of Nursing, Dr. Carl Krasniak, Carolyn Kuberski, Captain Amy Lewicki, Lights of Love Committee, Our Many Blessings, Dr. Christopher Max, Barbara McGregor, Stacy Mizazeski, Mohawk Valley Surgery Group and staff, Good Health for Vic and Rita Morris, Dr. Ashcook. Patel, Sister Jane Frances Fister, QA staff at St. Elizabeth's Medical Center, Dr. Farooz Ravengard, Dr. Sultana Razia, Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Raffaro and family, Dr. Nanine Samad, Martha Scott, David Sellers, Dr. Manzarul Skidder, Kathy South Southwick Lee, Richard Spontaski, Dr. Fred Tellerico, Philomene Tellerico, Trauma Service Staff at South at St. Elizabeth Medical Center, Visitors Guest Room and the third floor nursing staff at St. Elizabeth Medical Center. We leave the final candle unlit, aware of the fact that others will join our ranks in the days to come, that they are doing so even now. They will stand where we now stand and feel what we now feel. Our hearts reach out to them. We remember also that the time will come when we ourselves will pass through the barrier, separating one form of life from another. We know as we remember today, we will be remembered tomorrow. At this time, we invite you to stand and mention a loved one's name that has not previously been mentioned.
Bunny and I want to thank you for the beautiful music. Um, it touches our lives, just as everyone here has. We want to thank you for coming. Um, we want to thank the committee and the foundation staff and PR and everyone else who helped, and Father Joe for the church. But we also know that this is a tough time for everyone. Um, it's a time of remembering and of longing. And when you watch the girls today and Brody, um, that sense of life and happiness sparkled in them. So in the closing today, I have a little reading. And then uh, when my granddaughter, Mary Lucia Stewart, was six, she's eight now, she wrote a poem that was public. <clears throat> so I'm going to end that end with that, then we'd like you all to join us in um, Let There Be Peace on Earth, because that's what we all need right now. Let me make this day a celebration of spirit. There is a part of me that retains a childlike sense of curiosity, wonder, enthusiasm, and delight. I may have lost touch with it, but I know it still exists. I will set my problems to the side for a little while and appreciate what it means to be vitally alive. Advice to Have Fun By, by Mary Lucia Stewart. Happy time, have fun, lots of love, very berry, want peace, yum strawberries, yum raspberries, lots of fun, be happy, believe, be good, have lots of fun, hug and kiss, obey, Help families, help friends, be funny, be beautiful, share, give gifts, be real good, bake, watch snow, learn, play well, read, be comfortable, be nice, grow well, have brothers, have sisters, don't fight. Be fair, dress pretty, don't be sick. Be creative, save electricity, take naps, make snowmen, eat healthy, eat well, have dessert, and pray. Please join us in the thought. <laughs>